You speak Spanish, right? Yeah. All right. I don't know. I was like, maybe we should. All oh, that bit. Middle Eastern. I'm a no sabo. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <a> Middle Eastern. Bajal un poco? Okay. Right there. There you go. Right Perfect. Okay. Yeah. You good? You comfortable? Yes. Nervous? Nervous. Nervous? <laughs> all that. I don't know. I've never done one. All the TikToks you do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, popping on there. I'm trying. I'm gonna be Miss Influencer. <laughs> um, are you chewing gum? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're fine. I'm good? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I won't chew it. Uh, you're... Just in case I'm doing a little AMSR. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You looking for me, you can find me at the spot. Chopping it up with Jonah. We talking about what's hot on the block. Up in Dago, man, we bumping. Uh, keeping it confidential. You know this how we coming. We in front. Uh, looking for that real. Better tune in and stick by. Put on for the city every time that I dip by. Uh, get into that greedy every time that we sit down. Promise you it's real every time that I get round. Come on. <laughs> Been in the field playing. We work. Welcome back. Barbershop Confidential. The podcast. Your boy Jonah. You already know. And today we have a special guest. Melly's in the house. Hey, Melly. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. Good? I haven't seen you in forever. <sighs> I know. <laughs> it's been a really long time. I met you clubbing. Yeah. Yeah. When I was promoting and you were just a club goer. Yeah. 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 I remember with Joel and. Joel, shout out to guy. my compadre. Yeah. Yeah. Who, oh, Chaos. Yeah. Chaos. And Alex. Alex? Alex. I'm drawing a blank. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know, remember his last name, but we actually. What did he were, look like? Uh, he was bald. Bald. He was an impulse with me. And oh, okay, okay, Alex. okay, okay. All hey, right, Alex. Yeah, is that I think so? Maybe I know you're talking about the bald now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. He was he was really close with Joel. So okay, now I'm. <laughs> you're like no. That was a long time ago, though. <laughs> I know. That yes. was like in 2010. That was 14 years ago. I know. It was such a long. Damn, time. you've aged gracefully. Look at yeah. you. Skincare routine, drop it. We can get the ladies, you know. Got you. I'm actually an esthetician, so. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, that's what ah. I do. I'm an esthetician, so I do facials. There and you everything. go. Promo code Barbershop Confidential. You'll get that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have your own thing or do I do. at a salon? Um, I'm actually doing that on the down low right now. Oh, okay, cash only. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually just building, so. Um, that's cool. Yeah, it's oh, a that's right. Us. I'm fucking. Bro, <laughs> you were posing about that, and I was like, yeah. "Yo, let me get a." You were doing, you do waxes. And I stuff. do wax. You just graduated, I right? Just graduated. That's right. I have my own little business. I'm still. I had just bought a studio, so right now I'm just like, you know, getting the hang of it. I'm building, so I'm starting from the bottom, building, putting new floors, all that, oh, renovating, okay. and dope. then maybe in April I'll, I'll open. Open, open. Oh, yeah. so right now it's like. Just like I'll take people I know. Ah, yeah, it's not because it's at your open. house, I imagine. No, I actually got a little studio right there on Third oh. Avenue by oh. the breweries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, isn't there somebody? Are you sharing a space? No. Oh, okay. I'm I know, actually looking for because I know a girl who who has a studio. She does the waxing stuff. Oh, okay. sugaring stuff like that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. There's a lot of sugaring little spots right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vista. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. oh, how you like it? I love it really yes it's my calling honestly what do you like facials or like the waxing i prefer facials oh yeah okay you i like be... making f people feel comfortable in their skin and helping them oh that's dope get their skin i had gotten one because the girl i know was doing them i was like i'll support you yeah. know go get a facial but i have a beard <laughs> so like they stop at the cheek you know and it's like i don't really get the full experience cause no there's beard facials oh, i didn't get one i do beard facials for men oh, i didn't get one yeah you gotta come I pay full price <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta come go see melly yeah i do uh you know i, I have a uh, male clientele so i do those beard facials because i know a lot of men you know do get ingrowns as well so oh you know gotta okay. show love to the beard i love beards so we gotta oh. show love to them i didn't know there was beard facials yeah there is. i thought it was just like the skin Skin, beard, yeah, I do it all. And she did the where they like not extractions, pimp, not the pimple, but you know, like the 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 pores or whatever. Yeah, she extracted. Yeah, she's like, can I take a picture? I was like, damn, is that bad? <laughs> she's like, no, but I always, I was like, yeah, I guess. Don't tag me. <laughs> That's my favorite to do. The little with a little yeah. looks like a looks like a pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a little extractor. Damn. I love those. Yeah. 
So how you been? Like you kind of fell off the face of the earth for a while, or I just didn't know you were like anywhere. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't have Facebook or Instagram for a really long time when I was married. Oh, okay. Um, Did he say like no Facebook? No, actually, oh, okay. it was my choice. I really wanted to focus in my marriage and my kids, so I decided to just kind of get off of social media and really put my focus in my family. Oh, that's cool. Um, I had, you know, my son. So um, my focus was just honestly on them for a really long time. And then we both decided, okay, let's get social media. We are already, um, I believe we were like six years in and we decided to get oh, social cool. media. Like separate or together? Separate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, we ain't that toxic. <laughs> we ain't that toxic. <laughs> that couple is just funny. It's just like, oh, I know. I it's all not. like Maria and Jose. And it's like, <laughs> I could not do that. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I need my own. Right? <laughs> you, your aesthetic is fucking on my get out of here. Literally. <laughs> so you were married for, you said six years? Six years. Damn. I'm sorry it ended, you know. Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. Was it like a cool mutual? It was a mutual agreement. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't like, you know. No, uh, we were together for 12 years. That's a long time. It was a really So long you must have like got with him while you were like clubbing? Well, I met you clubbing? Actually, he hung out with us. Oh, did he? Yeah, he was always there with us. Oh, okay. So I would bring him with us. He was. Oh, actually, maybe I've seen him before. Yeah, yeah, you've seen him. Oh, okay. He Shout was, out to you. He was going with me a lot. Um, Back then. I actually met him at Red Circle. Do you remember <laughs> oh, Red yeah, Circle? Yeah, Red Circle. <laughs> what is him? that now? Nothing. Oh, no, yeah, it is. It's called like um, Mete or some shit like that. Mete. It's changed the name a lot. Oh, yeah, Mete, Mete. I yeah, heard mete. about it, but I've never been there. So it's all right. Yeah. So, yeah, I met him there and then you know we've been together we were together ever since then and then we've been divorced for a while now damn i'm sorry yeah it's fine it's rough it was rough in the beginning but honestly um i'm so much happier now oh damn that sucks to hear like <laughs> he's probably like oh sorry <laughs> she misses me no <laughs> happy <laughs> no he's actually a really good dad i can that's never good. take that away shout from out to him. that shout out to him. yeah shout <laughs> out to good dads out there um that's all that really matters you know just like yeah co-parenting and having a good relationship with you know. i'm curious like and not like just because y not your situation but in general like divorce how many like how long of like kind of like uh jealousy was there after like if you heard he was dating some of you does uh, it take a long time to get over it i mean is what i'm asking that's a good question um i feel like i was actually more jealous when we were married oh it's weird huh. um after, toxica for sure. I was a toxica for, yeah, for sure because sure. I was young. I was so yeah. young, and I was hella toxica. Um, and Checking he's very good looking. Oh, okay. Very good looking, and um, I just I feel like I wasn't as confident as I was as I am now. So I feel like there was a lot of confident issues. Oh. Yeah, I was young. Insecurities and insecurities. Shit. I was a mom, you know, yeah. and and um, yeah, it was just things that. I don't know why I was like that. Now I think about it, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so I'm crazy. <laughs> Did I really follow him? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. No, but you know, oh, I went really through his phone, yeah, you yeah. know, and actually like we never really had passwords. We just left our um, phones open. Um, I think it was just like a lot of like ex, his exes that kind of came into the picture when they shouldn't have. Mm. So I feel like that was a lot of the reason why. Damn. There was a lot of pesky talk. exes and shit. Right? You know what's crazy? Me and, moscas. <laughs> me and my wife have never run into any of ours. That's like, good. Never, not one time. And we've been together almost 10 years. Oh my God. Not once have we like crossed paths with them and shit. That's like, while good. While we've been honestly. out and shit. Honestly, yeah. that's the best. You yeah, don't yeah. ever want that. I mean, even, uh, yes, I agree. But like, I feel like now, at least mine, I'd be like, whenever, like, yeah. that was years ago, you know? But. You probably don't, ha you didn't have those exes that were like trying to get rid of your new partner. Oh, no, no, no. You know no. what I mean? That's like, just horrible. hating on you. That's, That's what I had. Oh, you had that? Yeah. Oh, so grimy his, bitches. Right? Grimy. <laughs> she was just hella weird. Did you ever have to like see her in person? I, I saw her in person one time. Yeah. fair. She cute. I'll ask everybody. Honestly, me. I'm not a hater to any girl. She's not bad. Okay. She's not ugly, but she's not my. You know, cup of tea. my cup of tea. <laughs> you wouldn't switch teams. I for would her? not. Never, <laughs> never. I would not. I just kind of, you know, I look at my, I would look at my 
my husband at the time and I'd be like, what were you thinking? Uh, I think every girl says that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would probably say the same. <laughs> <You saw her. laughs> no, hey, no, hey, no, hey. <laughs> no, hey, no. no, hey, no. <laughs> Go on, queen. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, boo-boo. <laughs> you still single, huh? Oh. Uh, ooh. <laughs> 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 no but you know yeah no we had a we had a, a those little moments yeah, moments and then damn i feel like when we got married it did was you just, have like a wedding wedding like, we had a small wedding okay yeah um, i Same. didn't really want a big wedding that's cool yeah i wanted a small intimate wedding which we had closest friends families and that's it damn yeah i didn't want to spend all that money and that's what i thought too like even then, we still spend like you know, like probably like fifteen hundred. Yeah. which seems like not a lot compared it's to weddings. Lot, yeah. But like fifteen for like literally, our shit was only like forty five minutes because it rained. Oh. So we really didn't even get to enjoy it oh. all the way. But yep, weddings are expensive. Isn't They're it? so expensive. Honestly, if I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't have had a wedding because my or marriage <laughs> or marriage literally. Yeah, like let's just be homies. <laughs> let's just be friends. Roommates. <laughs> We were that. We were that after. Oh, okay. We were roommates. <laughs> oh, after the divorce? No, a friend. Like, oh, oh, in the marriage. Because, oh. you know, when you you guys start losing interest or somebody starts getting comfortable, you guys just, like, oh, it just, feels like a roommate relationship. Just coexisting. Coexisting. Like, we're just, with the economy, we're like, oh, we're just together for yeah, this yeah. reason, you know? But, um. Shit's expensive. <laughs> let's just stay together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, you know, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's expensive. Weddings, Damn. marriage, all that. Life. Period. Life in general. Period. Do you still keep in touch with anybody from, I, I swear, I feel like you just fell off. Like I did. The last time I heard from you, you worked at T-Mobile, huh? I did. I worked I for the same company. Like, I had a friend who worked with you. Uh, and she's like, oh, I work with this girl, Melly, and I was like, so I showed her a picture, and she's like, yeah, yeah, her. I was like, oh, that's what's up. I had just left to go to a different job. Yeah. I guess when you were working. Yeah, I, I worked for T-Mobile for a little bit while I was going to school. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. It was, I, I loved it. I used to work in sales a lot yeah. in my younger days. In your young, back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> you know. And when now. My knees weren't weak. <laughs> <laughs> they can't drop it low can, no more. I cannot stand for longer than <laughs> 20 minutes <laughs> or drop it low. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bleep this name, but you weren't you really cool with a girl named uh, what's her last name? I don't know. The only thing I can describe is she had stars on her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was really cool with her. Yeah, that's what I was. I had, yeah, I was talking to a friend a of mine, mm -hmm. and I was like, Oh, I'm gonna have Melly on the podcast. And she's like trying to remember, and I was like, Ah, she was really good, cool friends with this girl, the thing. And she's like, drawing a blank and I, I was like damn I, I don't know if you don't remember then i can't help yeah you. i remember yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleep, bleep, i haven't bleep. talked to her in years yeah oh, okay yeah the last time. i remember you guys were like we were of besties we were uh we were friends for a really long time and then we just fought, fell off you know life happened you know uh she got into a relationship last i remember and I haven't seen her since. I had sex when friends do that shit, huh? Yeah. They get in a relationship and they're just like. No, yeah. I, honestly, I don't remember why we stopped talking because it was so long ago. Yeah. But I know she got in a relationship and I kind of stopped. I think because I got in a relationship too and I stopped going out. Oh. Yeah. So I stopped going out and I wasn't really in the party scene anymore. Did you like being married? I loved being married. Like, in that whole, like, you know. I did. Fancy shit. I loved it. I really loved it until I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's with anything in life, huh? I yeah. loved it. And then I didn't. And then I didn't. Yeah. No. Honestly, like, that was, like, something I really wanted. Obviously, have my kids and my husband and a house and everything, you know? And it changes. Yeah. People really change your. Over years? Over years, yeah. If you really want something, you get it, and then it's like, oh my god, I didn't think it was gonna be this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary, dude. I, like really for the scary. longest time, I was like not scared of marriage, but I, I thought about that. Like, yeah. damn, man, people. What if one day she wakes up, she's like, nah, I, I, I've decided I no longer want to be with you. you know what I mean? It could happen because it, like my sister's divorced, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I thought they were like forever, mm -hmm. and then one, you know, 
whatever their situation happened, I was just like, fuck, what if she does that? It happens. It, it does. It literally happens, like, from one day to another. Or just, like, them making you feel a certain way. It could really change a lot of things. And Ooh, scary, yeah. scary, scary. It's super scary. Very scary. But, You're all know, like, but enjoy marriage. No, enjoy marriage, <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like you have a really amazing wife. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she's cool. So she, and you guys have a lot of similarities. Yeah. You know, so that's amazing that you have that. That's the key. You gotta find them younger. <laughs> <laughs> Go get you a little young book. No, no, I did no. You tried a little young thing already? I did. I dated some young guy. He was twenty six. Oh, I didn't say that young girl was. Oh. Long. <laughs> How old is your wife? Nah, she's thirty three. Scratch that. <laughs> nah, oh, no. Oh, she's thirty. Thirty three. How old are you? 40 41 you're not 41 41 stop i swear what the heck i was like 40 come on be honest 41 (laughs) no you're not yeah what the heck old as shit how old are you i'm 36 okay i was gonna say i know we weren't close but i know you weren't like 30 Yeah. because i met you such a long time ago yeah we met a long time ago oh my god i didn't know you were 41 yeah. That's crazy. Well, you got great skin, too. Thank you, you know. What's your skin secret? Skin routine. Skin routine. <laughs> I'll drop it in the link right here. Yeah, yeah. drop it in the link. <laughs> um, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, you don't... Nah, young dudes are... No. I was just thinking about that this morning. No. I was like, I think dudes who are, like, my age shouldn't date anything less than 35. Like, 35 should be the minimum. Yeah, I agree. Because these young girls these days are kind of crazy. They really are, and the guys. And the guys, yeah. Yeah, so I don't recommend dating. <laughs> Young guys? 26. Nope. Not even 26. Was it even fun? In the beginning, it was. Uh, so everything's fun in the beginning. It really was in the beginning until I feel like once they, once they fall in love, these little boys, they uh. fall in love. It's like they try to put conditions on oh, the relationship. Shit. And you're like, excuse me. On the older Who's woman, the older one. Here? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, "Oh, that dress? No." Oh my god! Damn. It's not even that. It's like you can't talk to your friends. You can't be friends. Is it a culture thing though? Without I don't want to give too much because I, yeah. I I know, but yeah, it had to be a culture thing, right? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not that Mexicans aren't like that because oh yeah, Mexican, the machistas. machistas. And shit. Yeah. No, I just feel like insecurity. Of, again, when I was younger, I was super insecure. Um, mm. I feel like that has a lot to do it because you haven't really grown and learned to love yourself and yeah, that's you true. know have a lot of confidence. If you don't have confidence, you really shouldn't be in a relationship. Because <laughs> <laughs> or trust, trust is a or big trust one too, yeah. just because. Oh, uh, like I don't know. Damn. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you though. I haven't seen you in forever. It was good. Me too. When I, you were like, yeah, I'll do it. I was like, stop. She's playing. I was like, I was the whole day. I was like, any moment now. <laughs> oh, you know, some. <laughs> Honestly, I was super nervous. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I've never done one of these. What is he gonna ask? <laughs> I was like, mm. but no, like I talked to. I have my. I have my friend. She's a really good friend of mine. She's like, do it. She's like, you're gonna love it. You know, because she wants to do one too. Oh, she yeah? wants to do a podcast. Yeah, she should. She really should. Yeah, she's she young. No, she's my age. Single? She's single. Oh, yeah, do it. Yeah, she's single. <laughs> Let it all out. No, shit. yeah, and she... Is she also divorced? She's never been married. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, no, she's oh, never see, been but married. you guys have, like, two different perspectives. Yeah, that's why I always tell her, like, yeah. do it, and she has a lot of great advice, and so hopefully she does it. Damn. I see. Is she somebody you're always with? Yeah, she's... Uh, we actually went to school. We It's so crazy. We met, and we just became super close. We what school did you school. go to? Bellas Academy. Right here? Mm-hmm. In Chula Vista? Yeah. The ones that wear all black? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> My sister lives close to there, and every mm-hmm. time I go to their to her house, I'll see them, like, crossing the street. And I'm like, what are they doing over here? But there's a liquor store. Liquor store, so tacos. Yeah, the, top yeah. Of the, the food that's around there. Oh, yeah. Are they there all day? Um. So there's a class from, like, 8 to 5, and then there's another class from 5.30 to 10. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. From... Eight to four, and then five to ten, which I went from the five to ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it the same class twice? Yes. Oh, okay, so you can't double up. You can't double up. Because oh, no. I know it's hours mainly, right? Yeah, so yeah. the night has more hours than the daytime. Oh. Yeah, because it's only a couple hours and yeah. at night. So, yeah, me and her were just there. So, it's actually, it was actually a lot of us. But, um, yeah, she she's really good at giving good advice and... 
all that. So I'm like, I feel oh. like that's like a popular profession or popular path women take these days. The yeah, estheticians, the waxing and stuff like that. I know it wasn't before women really didn't take care of their skin, but now. <laughs> like, but what's crazy is like I feel like the young girls now look older. They do. Then the, then the you know the girl like the women when I was younger. Yes. Like they've aged nicely and like women now look older. They do. And I feel like it's because of a lot of the Botox. Oh, uh, the I didn't even think doing. about that. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the younger de- generation, they're all about BBLs, they're all about, you know, BBLs, Botox, Botox fake lips, all that. I've never done any of nothing? that. Nothing? Nothing. <clears throat> nothing to my body. Honestly, <clears throat> just eating Cali burritos and <laughs> I won't be. Sunblock. <laughs> I won't be honest. My friend I was talking to, she's like, describe her, and I was like, I don't, bro, like a Mexican girl. Dude. I was like, one thing I do remember <laughs> that a lot of like a key factor that people would like recognize her from. I was like, she had like a big ass, dude. Like, <laughs> and she's like, no. I was like, that's all I got, bro. I yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Mexican girl with a big big booty on <laughs> real <laughs> before the BBL before trend. Before the BBLs, yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, a lot of people did. They would call me cakes, baby cakes. They'll call me. It was always like that. I'm like, why can't you just remember my name? Name. I think I had you under like <laughs> Melly Cakes. <laughs> That's what a lot of people had me under Melly Cakes. I used to save people's phones because you know when I was promoting, it'd be like ten different Melissas or like you know. What different names, but Jessica's fifteen Jessicas, yeah. And so I would put like a something to identify them by. I remember, <laughs> I remember I knew a Melissa. She had big titties, so I put Melissa big titties. <laughs> and yours that was probably like me. <laughs> I was like Mel- Melly big boot big booty. <laughs> oh my god! It's just to know who I was talking no, to. Yeah, I was like, true. damn, there's too many of you promoting. I'm yeah. sure back in the day it was damn a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> Would you ever go back into that? No. No, huh? No. I think I liked, I like the, uh, this is going to sound weird, but I like the attention. Like, yo, give me in, give me in, give me in. Mm -hmm. And then when I left it, like, my phone was like, (laughs) crickets. And I was like, damn, they really, I thought they were my friends. (laughs) You're like, damn. (laughs) Damn, they didn't fuck with me at all. Because I don't think, besides Joel, maybe like two or three people from promoting that I still talk to. You still talk to Joel? Yeah, that's my co- I mean, his son's godfather. Oh my God. Actually, his yeah. wife is my girl's wife, or my girl's best friend. No way. We met them at the same time. That's crazy. Yeah, they, yeah. they, did they? No, we, me and, me and my wife started dating before them. Cause she, they, she had a boyfriend and, and then he was like on an album. Yeah. And then finally we got them together. Dang, that's great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Joel was, oh yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, so. Oh my God. I haven't seen him in a minute. Oh, for real? I, I, told I talked to him like, here and there on Snapchat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like, hey, what's up, friend? You know, <laughs> we'll say hi, Facebook, but nothing more. Nothing yeah. more. It's just different worlds and shit. I know. I feel so bad because you know we were pretty close. Yeah, we were really pretty close. Like, we'd go out, we'd have a good time, but I haven't party animals. Not only that, but I like see. since a relationship. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it just changes. I mean, that was a whole marriage too. It so. was a whole marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no way your husband's gonna be like, yeah, go. go no, go. He, he well, he would hang out with Joel and I, like, Joel. oh, because he would, he knew him. Yeah, too. he knew Joel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll ask you after, like, well, who yeah. it was because I don't, uh-huh. I don't remember you yeah. being married. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta show you a picture. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, not on camera. I uh-huh. say, wait, <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> I remember, no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Oh man, dude, I, I. Just, have you know you don't you don't keep up with nobody from back then like um, I still hang out with a couple girls um but like Christina Castillo you know the twins oh yeah 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 I still talk to Christina um but hang out I don't really hang out with anybody oh. in high school anymore that's what's up Mm-mm. I see you still going out though oh yeah back on the streets <laughs> <laughs> right where I met you. <laughs> You know what? I, I yeah, I've been going out. Um, lately, I've been going a lot to um, like restaurants. And I mean, yeah, you know, grown up shit. Grown up shit. You know, yeah. I don't go to the clubs anymore. The last club I went to actually was probably Papa's and Beer. In TJ. Rosarito. Oh, no, Rosarito. Ensenada. Oh, okay. Ensenada. It was actually pretty fun. What were you doing down there with those? I was with family. I know you like them young, but Jesus. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, honestly, it's that was probably 18. the only place that I knew to go to uh, Ensenada. So we just went to go have some beers and stuff. It was nice. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. It was fun. How do you... So now you you were going out young, and then you had this gap of, like, being a mom and, and wife and all that, and now you're back to, like... What, what do your kids think, like... Um... My You're almost at the age to date uh, to party with one of your kids. Oh yeah, my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's about to be nineteen. Um, Three my, more years and you'd be out there. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I'm gonna take her to Las Vegas. <laughs> I told her. Um, no, yeah. My son is six. He's gonna be sixteen, and then my youngest is gonna be nine. Um, my kids are actually really supportive. Actually, through this whole thing, um, especially my daughter. The older one? Yeah, she's she's seen a lot. She's been there, you know, and my son too. But they've been very supportive. That's cool. Very supportive. And, you know, they're like, Mom, you got to enjoy your life. You're not getting any younger. You know, do what you got to <laughs> do. Yeah. Like, you know, like, you still hey, look young right yeah. now. Go for it, Mom. Enjoy it now. Enjoy it now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to my mom. They don't get, like, jealous, like... Ain't no. no dudes better try to hit on you or my son. Yes, uh, he's super celoso. He's like sixteen. He's gonna be sixteen yeah. actually next month. Oh, sure. um, super jealous, super overprotective. Always tells me, "Mom, you don't need no man. You know, you got me. I'm gonna take care of oh, you." That's what's up. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. I, every time he tells me that, I'm like, oh, <laughs> "You're right." But um, I would really like someone to pay my bills. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I don't like driving. I, don't, I want to be a passenger princess. Please. <laughs> I want to be fed. <laughs> I want to be surprised with roses. You're big old butch on our roses. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but when he tells me that, he kind of like, motivated. He's, I'm like, you're right, son. I really don't. You know, no guy deserves me. So um, I, they just motivate me to work harder and that's what's up. build my business and everything. So Damn, that's cool. Yeah. Happy for you. Thank it's you. cool to see. I feel like I was bringing it up because I, I still follow a lot of people from the nightlife or whatever. And I see them, they're all with their families. I'm like, that's dope. Yeah. You know, like everybody landed. But I think back like, damn, I remember her like twerking like <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the club. And look at her. She's like a, a good mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, it, it, there comes a point where you just kind of have to stop that. Life. And I was actually a mom when I was going out. Oh, okay. Well, I only saw you on the weekends. Yeah. So maybe <laughs> like, Monday through Friday, you're a good mom. <laughs> yeah, no, I, w I was actually, every time they were with their dad, I would go out and party. So, um, do the two of them? So, the two older ones was for my first relationship oh, that I okay. had. That was like in high school. Sweet. Yeah, because I had my daughter at 18. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I was young. Yeah, I was with their dad, and then we broke up when I had my son. At a really young age. So when he was born, we actually separated. Mm. Yeah. So you've only had like, it was him then the husband? Yeah. Damn, girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need it out here. Get out here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Live a little. I know, so for real. <laughs> you went from tied down to tied down. To tie, I know. Damn, no, that's crazy. Well, I was actually, well, I was single for a while after, um, after the first, my first uh, relationship. Um, I was single for like three years. That's a long time. Yeah. I mean, that's a good. Well, actually, job. like two and two years. I mean, I I met guys, but honestly, I just I no. didn't see them serious or anything mm. like that. It was just whatever. what does like a 30, 36, mm -hmm. 36 year old even look for? I try to put myself. I don't in look this, like, for anything anymore. Uh, honestly, I really don't. Right now is just bettering myself, learning to love myself. Um. Just becoming a better version of myself, I feel that's like. What's up. That's what I'm looking for. Right now, I'm not looking for any man. And all the boys out here. Please, honestly, that's all that I... that Comes that, to you? Yeah, young men. Yeah. Like they see 26? the mom in you, they're like, oh, she'll take care of me. Yeah, she'll make me some she'll enchiladas. Me. <laughs> <laughs> she'll make some chilaquiles in the morning. She got juice, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> she got some caprices <laughs> sure. somewhere. She got snacks in her purse. <laughs> For real. You throw a little I fit. Had the big bag. <laughs> Tengo hambre. You're like, no, here, shut yeah. up. <laughs> and I hate that. I really hate that I attract these young men. Have you tried like dating apps? No. God. I've never you been on a dating app. You, we come from like the old way of like, that wasn't even a thing. Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah. I feel like it's just so weird. I already have Instagram and I get all these DMs. weird DMs. I'm just like, it's so annoying. <laughs> 
I saw on Facebook now though they have like a dating face fake Facebook dating. Oh yeah. I was like, what the? Fuck? Yeah. Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> one of my one of my friends uh met some guy on there, yeah. and he was being super weird with her. Oh my god. Yeah, like kind of creepy. Yeah. And she's like, see, yeah, that's what I'm scared I should've of. Should have done that. Yeah. She's like, but I, I, he ended up like. I guess they exchanged numbers, and he's like, "Oh, this is where you live." Like he did like a like a search on her, what? and he found out where she lived and shit like that. I was like, "Damn, you gotta be careful." No, yeah, I'm telling creepy you. ass dudes out here and shit. That's why I don't do no dating apps because you never know. I arrived. Sh- <laughs> I could never. I could never. I I mean Instagram. I feel like it's more. The person is more realistic, I guess, because yeah. on dating apps you really don't know. Yeah. Catfishing, hat yeah. fishing. Hey, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <Chill>. the fishing. <laughs> and there's like a lot of filters nowadays. So like, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's this one girl I know. I'm not going to say who it is, but <laughs> she like filters her pictures so much. And, and she'll post them. Oh, my God. And it's like, girl, you know. And, and your friends know you don't look like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like mm. <laughs> Mm. But like, like an extreme filter. It's like, yeah, no. All they have to do is go to your tag pictures and see what you really look right? like, right? <laughs> because your friends ain't filtering their pictures for you. Yeah, I can't. I, I mean, I love filters. I really, really do. But it just comes to a point where, like, you got to stop using those Snapchat filters on your Instagram posts, <laughs> girl or guy. Because I see a lot of guys doing that guys too. Do that too. Yes, you get the one that gives you like the plump the lips little, and shit i mean that was my shit back in the day you know the little before the lip injections <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i feel like there's just like too many girls that are just using that and it's like girl you're beautiful the way you are you don't need that filter yeah but social media is taught yeah taught us it we have to look a certain way and shit that's true which is sad yeah. yeah none of that's gotten to me though i'm like uh-uh i'm not gonna inject my ass i'm not gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to work I'm out. I sure the doctor was like, <laughs> "Be for real, girl. <laughs> what are you go doing? Back. Are you donating? <laughs> <laughs> oh, get out of here! <laughs> go, come on. <laughs> no, for real. No, I just can't. Yeah, yeah. I just, oh no. Some mm-hmm. of them are crazy to look at, but you know, whatever makes them happy. Yeah. Or if their their husbands like it, yeah. more power to them and shit. I I just don't understand it, honestly. It's like old, cause you're like older. Yeah. But I see a lot of women too, like yeah, grandes. They're like in the like mobby makeovers. I feel like I would probably do it if I was like fifty. <laughs> when I turn fifty, if I don't look like J Lo by then, <laughs> <laughs> I mean like workout body wise, then I'll probably get like a mommy makeover. Mommy, like a little tummy tuck or something. A little tummy tuck, you know. Even dudes are getting tummy tuck. Yeah, Fair. even like calves. Oh, uh, like, come on. I'm like, come on, come bro. On. Go work it out. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to go get a BBO in 10 years. <laughs> they were like, do you want to snatch? Damn. Snatch. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, no, I just, I can't with all that. All the, uh, One day, if I really, really, really need it. I'll you don't like, have friends who have it? I do. Oh, okay. What do you, do you say anything? You're just like, yeah. I mean, I'm happy for them if they yeah. feel good about themselves. But I'll be like, girl, you do not need it. Because I honestly think that people are, like, really beautiful the way they are. So just seeing them transform into a, this person, it just kind of makes me sad. Have you ever f- always felt like that? Or did, were you, was there a time when you were, like, a little shallow? Of towards BBL women? No, like, in general, men. Oh, women. no, 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 no. No? No, I, oh. just, I just, like, feel like... Like what? Like what? Are, like what do you see that I don't see? You know, like you ah. see yourself a certain way, but I see you beautiful the way you are. Mm. So then, when they get the BBLs, then I'm start like mm, they're gonna keep doing it because I do know a girl that oh they get addicted. They get addicted yeah, to yeah. that, and then they start ch- doing their cheeks. They start doing. I don't even know what you can do, but they have done it all. <laughs> they get the full service. They get the full <laughs> service. I'm like, damn. I wonder what you're gonna look like when Older? you're in your forties. Damn, or not 30s. even not even 30s 40s no bro. yeah 30s yeah. or whatever you know it's like damn it's gonna be bad because that's not all that's not gonna be there forever you obviously have to upgrade um you gotta upgrade that shit yeah like every 10 years so when you get breast implants you have to redo them in 10 years damn. i don't know about 
uh, BBLs or? I know a girl who got two BBLs. Two BBLs? Yeah. She said it wasn't big enough, so she went back. Shut up. Uh-huh. No. I mean, she's a stripper, so. Oh, damn. No, she's probably just trying to up her money. Hey. <laughs> I mean, if that's how she's getting her income, then by all means. Handle that. Handle sure. that shit. You yeah. get it, girl. But me, I just. Mm. I mean, tweets their own. I, yeah. If they like it, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it is. At first, I was kind of like, I not a hater, but I used to have like the comments like, oh, you look. But now it's just like, whatever. Yeah. It's, I'm whatever. Important. Like, it's like so common now that you, yeah. it's like. Back, remember back, it was like, oh, yeah, you fake titties. She got fake titties. She, she got, got fake, fake titties. titties. She got fake titties. And now it's just mm-hmm. like, it's fake titties, who cares? Yeah. Like, Honestly, girls think I have my a fake ass. Yeah. Because we live in this time, they're like, they're like, they're like who's your, your doctor? Ass? Yeah, is that your is that your nose? Is that your ass? <laughs> yes, it's on me. Your nose? Yeah, I get a lot of comments yeah. on it. A lot of girls, it is petite. A lot of girls take pictures of it from the of side. your nose. Yes, they're like, doc, I see. Yeah, they're like, oh my god, can I take a picture of your nose? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's exactly how I want my nose. No, I'm shit. like, girl, I don't even like my nose, but go for it, you know, by all means. Damn. Yeah. Nah, big nose on a girl is kind of crazy. Like, <laughs> some girls sniffing the cheese may out. Yeah, some girls got the big old conkers. Um. <laughs> they do, but you know, it's because women are like usually like petite, or you know, compared to men, and so they have like thinner faces, and then so their nose on a guy would probably look whatever normal, normal. Yeah. but on them it looks a little bit bigger and shit oh no, yeah. yeah no yeah yeah no i'm just like oh my nose i don't even like my nose but there's girls that you know they want what you got <laughs> like go for it girl take a picture and they want to pay for it <laughs> they want to yeah. pay for it some girl i was talking to she's like i'm gonna get all the surgeries when it's like when the time is right and i was like all right go girl yeah. <laughs> some women do it after their kids Oh, that's smart. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean. There's some women that do it after the, their kids. But, si no te fajas, trust me. <laughs> you gotta, that's you gotta what wear I those did. fajas, huh? I did. After my daughter. Oh, my is that grandma, right? My daughter, my, my daughter, my mom and my grandma were like, fajate. After. After. Like right after? Right after. I didn't get no stretch marks. Shut up. Nothing. I was like back to my high school size, literally. After your daughter? After my daughter. The first one. My first one. Oh, the bounce back. Yeah, the bounce back. Easy. You didn't get the like the little saggy. No, that uh. was that was actually my third. My oh, third okay. child. Yeah. You didn't fight. I didn't. <laughs> I did. I was like, fuck that shit. It's very painful, honestly. What the, the faha? faha? Oh. Especially because I had three C sections. Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't. Once you have one, you have to get three. Or you gotta have. Oh, <laughs> you yeah, yeah. you no, buy but, one, you get three from. You want to just have one? <laughs> no, but, yeah. But after your first C section, they tell you typically. Yeah, they'll tell you um, you can get a C section, you can deliver, but they want you to wait a certain amount of years between C sections. Yes, oh. I think it's like seven years, then you're okay to give natural birth. Um, I think that's what my doctor said. Um, but I, I, my daughter was already five, or they're three years apart, so. Was it, uh, I, don't, I don't know this, and it's probably ignorant, but the C-section, is that because they have to do it that way? It's like emergency purposes. Oh, yeah. all right. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I had an emergency C-section. The first one. The first one. And then the second one, you, they said. Just do your C-section, to, you know, it's too dangerous. Um, I was pre-diet, no, I had gestational diabetes. So with that, that's the pregnancy one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had it on all pregnant, all three. all three. Mm-hmm. Damn, I know. Three time champ. Yeah, literally, <laughs> I was eating clean. I hated it, <laughs> but you know, yeah. So I had three C sections, but the last one was the most painful. Um, so I didn't the recovery. Yeah. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes sense now. Yeah, and it's it's very painful. The recovery. The recovery. Okay. I just yeah, want to yeah. be sure. The recovery and having children, but but so know, wait, the recovery so is very having a baby through C section, is it less painful than natural birth? I feel like the recovery is oh, okay. more painful, but um, delivering naturally, I, I've never had delivered yeah. naturally, so I don't know. But you hear about the yeah? I mean, I've had contractions and, and everything dilated, uh, but I I don't know. I didn't get to experience it. Is it is it like gnarly to see the scar? Like the scar, after? my scar's like oh. this big. 
I thought it was like side to side. No, no, it's like this big. Oh. Huh. Yeah, they just like stretch it open, and then they pull out all your <laughs> like, guts. Yeah, come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, they take out all your. I think they take out all your intestines, <clears throat> and then they pull out the baby. That's a lot of work. Them. It is. Seems dangerous. It's pretty dangerous. Oh damn, that's crazy. Yeah, know. it's pretty scary. Because uh, uh, one of my boys sent me a. Uh, you know how guys. I don't know if you know this, <laughs> or if you guys don't know this. Guys know this. I don't know if women know, but guys send each other women like like pictures, picture like their Instagrams and like oh yeah, yeah I'll check sure. this girl out, whatever and shit like that. Um, he sent me some girl and she had like the tattoo, you know, from from like side to side oh, around the banta. I was like, oh, the C-section, the C-section or the, or the tummy tuck. Oh, that the could tummy, the tuck, tummy uh, tuck tattoo. Yeah. And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, it's because they have a scar. So they get a tattoo there to, to cover yeah. up the scar. And he's like, I am today years old. They found out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of, I know a lot of women ta- get tattooed over their, um, their um, tummy tucks. Yeah, yeah. Because it's big. It's I like, think it's that one that goes yeah, from side to side. From side to side. I thought it was a C-section one. No, the C-section's like this big. Oh, uh, because the baby's not even. No, they're little. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. It probably is just the tummy And then tuck. the C-section is actually like above your pelvic area. It's not your hips. So the tummy tuck is lower. Tummy tuck is higher. Oh, higher. Yeah, because it's like from your hip to hip. Oh. And you, your, the pelvic area is right here. Oh, so. A C-section one. Look at this, like sex ed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you could cover it with like underwear. Yeah. Oh, literally. It's all right. right look at that. I, sh- I think I should have known all this already. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> the more you know, the guys will know now. <laughs> <laughs> no one is like. I was wondering what this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, it is the tummy tuck then. Yeah, uh, the tummy tuck. I have a friend. She um, she's already like mad skinny, dude. Like flaca, like real naturally skinny. And she wanted some birthday pictures. And I was like, yeah, for sure. And I took her picture. And she's like, oh, Photoshop the... She had gotten lipo. But I was like, for what, bro? She's like, "Ah, I'm so stupid. I should have just worked out. She's like, honestly, there was like no difference. She's like, now I got these scars. And it cost me like five racks or something. Yeah, it's so expensive. (laughs) But I was like, you're fucking skinny. She's like... I, You know, it's one of those girls that... Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. They see something we don't. Mm-hmm. Because I'll be like, dang, she has a perfect body. She's so like, skinny, like yeah. already. Yeah. And I had posted the pictures because I post them on my photography thing. And she's like, no, 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 take them down. And I was like, why? And she's like, send them to me first. <laughs> and she made herself skinnier. <laughs> I was like, how do you do that? Give me the app. (laughs) I was like, bro, like people know you in real life. Like (laughs) you went from normal ways to like nothing. Like I was like, whatever. Damn. (laughs) Give me the app, girl. Give me the app because I need that. (laughs) That's another one too. Um, Yeah. Girls be doing that. Warping the pictures and shit. Yeah. I'm like, how the hell do they do that? Mine would be looking all... (laughs) The wall will be all curved. So like, mm, Melly, <laughs> come on. Girl, please. <laughs> you know you ain't that slim. <laughs> it's okay. You got three kids, girl. <laughs> we understand. You got an excuse. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> that young dude you were dating on, because uh, was he cool with you having kids? Oh, yeah. What's up? Yeah, he wanted to get married. Did he ask you? No. Thank but God. He t- we talked about it. We talked about oh. it. Yeah, that was something that he really he wanted to do. Just based on the culture, because, you know, I saw pictures of him. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say nothing more, but I imagine it was probably would have been like an uh, extravagant proposal. Oh, yeah. A wedding and shit. Yeah. He was very detailed. That's what I really liked about him is that the younger men are very, like, um, more romantic. Mm, I feel. You think so? I think so. The younger men are more Uh, romantic because. I wonder if it's social media. Because it's like, it has they to see it and they're like, oh, I want to top that or yes, I they, got a stunt. They do. I feel like it is because my ex-husband is the same age as I was and he was not romantic at all. That's why I didn't work, bro. I'm playing. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No, yeah, I swear to yeah. you, um, that really does have a lot to do with it. But <clears throat> not being, you know, just not planning dates out, thinking, oh, I already have, I'm already married to you. I don't need to do more. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like that type that I That's like the first step to a a ruined marriage? 
Period. Yeah, it is. It honestly is because if you're not still working to be married, it's never going to work. So if you're not romantic. Was he romantic in the beginning? No. Oh, so you, why are you complaining now? You can't, I got to defend my guys now. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I, because I loved him, I let that slide. Mm. But he knew that I liked that stuff. So if you know your woman likes that stuff, it's like, why wouldn't you make that effort? I made the effort to put up with the fact that you're not romantic. You could have done something here and there. Done Little day night. Yeah, like I would give him hints like, hey, maybe if you just wrote me like a cute Valentine's Day letter, that would mean something to me. Or like, leave one rose. It doesn't have to be a million roses. A rose is I mean, mine. a million would be. I mean, a buchona. <laughs> a buchona bouquet would be nice. <laughs> I want to have a flower filled in my living room. <laughs> you know? But one rose. But oh one rose. God. You know, I feel like that with um, I no shade to anybody who like does presents differently, mm-hmm. but when it comes to like presents, me and my wife, I know her so well and she knows me so well mm-hmm. that we get each other what we want without having to ask. Exactly. Like, like I don't need to ask her what she likes because I know what she likes, and she drops hints throughout the year, and I'll be like, okay, remember that she wants this. Take notes. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but some people I know because I had thought of like. Look, give me five things you want. Because just to make sure. And she's like, no, you should know what I want. I was like, all right. So, but some people do that. Just like, here's a list. Yeah, I think it's. Just give me that. But then at the end point, it's like, just buy for yourself and tell them to buy them their own shit. And then yeah. easy peasy. I feel also too, like there's some men souls out there. <laughs> no offense. Um, where you tell the guy that you want certain things or you want this and this and they totally get you the opposite <laughs> yeah. oh. and you're like oh. so i wanted an lv purse <laughs> wait a minute that you left the ross list. tag on this one bro. <laughs> you got me a michael course because it looks this you know how they Excuse copy you? the print uh, yeah <laughs> it's like what, what? wait what, is this what, gucci what? or louis no <laughs> you know it's just like it's just like obvious things like that it's just like okay if your girl's telling you this do don't that. do that <laughs> that was like a that was for me that's mind fucking like yeah for sure like anything that you at want, that point it's like are you doing it on purpose bro? right like, are you being, are you purposely buying me the opposite shit like, right <laughs> are you not supporting what i want <laughs> oh you want a divorce <laughs> <laughs> you got it boo you know it, it's just, and, and it's not even that it's just like a lot of things where it's just like you really do need to pay attention to your partner Mm-hmm, that's like i mean your focus should just be your partner and yourself obviously yeah, but yeah. like if you really want to make a marriage work it's like your partner she's always right mm. <laughs> you the have girl, me but you know the what? wife is always right guys just say yes yes princess or yes, queen whatever. yes baby whatever yes, you want my love and then you know go write in your journal i mean <laughs> <laughs> no yeah but you know with like the younger guy that I dated, I feel like um, within the six months that we were dating, I was like, wow, I was really impressed. Oh, Honestly, and that's why I decided to date him. Because you made the effort. Because I saw that effort. Because there's not a lot of guys that do that. So the effort, it was the effort for me. You know what? Like you are the perfect girls to date like before him. Because mm-hmm. the littlest things you're like, oh, my God. <clears throat> Because the, the last one didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> so then, For real. Like, you're easily, like... Impressed. Impressed. It's like, I bring you some roses. You're like, oh, my God, never before. Oh, my God. And it's a little like, teddy bear. Yes. Yeah. Buy you a bag of chips. You're like, he's the one. Oh, my God. Bring me Chick-fil-A. <laughs> he brought me Chick-fil-A, girls. <laughs> Delivered. Delivered. Door dash. Door dash. Coffee. He, he paid that expensive. He loves me. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Honestly... It's it really is like that because you're so used to nothing, nothing, yeah. you know, and you're buying it all by yourself. You're doing everything for yourself that when that one guy comes, you're like, oh, my God. And then he turns out to be a fucking toxic. <laughs> well, you can't have both. Can't have both. You, you have to either with toxic or like, you no. know, n- yeah. get, get, no good. I can't have sucks both. At gifts. No, 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 no. If you're going to be this perfect guy that's doing everything right. And then you turn into this toxico when you already know you caught us. 
Yeah, that's it what I'm saying. Work. You can't that's ha- manipulation. Nah, 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 nah. You can't have. He's either gonna be a really good guy, but doesn't buy you shit. <laughs> I want both. <laughs> no. Better no, no, be a doesn't good work guy like that. and romantic. Work like that. That guy is probably in your request folder, talking to himself every day. <laughs> good morning, beautiful. <laughs> That's the what that one guy I keep is. Deleting. Yeah, you're like, ah, come on, guys. No, honestly, I uh, I've experienced a really, 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 really good guy, but he just got on my nerves. He was too good. He was just too like too perfect. Clingy. You fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just like overwhelming. If clingy? that makes sense, or but overwhelmingly we even good. Dating. I never even went on a date with him. Oh, just through messaging. So when I was going to school, this guy was just sending me flowers every single day of school. To school? To school. They'd come in and be like, I Melly. I didn't know who it was in the beginning. Melly, this is for you. Yes, Melissa, because I did his facial one time. And oh, then, so you, you met him in person. But I didn't know who it was when I was oh, getting the flowers. Okay. When I was getting a the secret flowers. Admire it was a secret admirer type shit. It was a secret admirer for like oh, a really long time. That's what's up. Yeah. And then... Um, when I, once I found out who it was, he was like, "Oh, I got you this, I got you that, and I did this, and I did that," and, and like it was just like, "Oh my god!" Like that's too much. I felt like it was because mm. I never even got on a date with him. Like you don't even know who I am. Why are you doing all this stuff? Like what's the catch? Yeah. So trying to get some ass. <laughs> or married? I don't know because he was like doing the most. Yeah. Like was he older? No, he was thirty-three. I mean. Uh- not young not young yeah but i just maybe, feel like maybe he was like yeah. were you doing this with all the other girls how or many girls how many girls are mm, you doing this you know how many schools do facials <laughs> and deliver flowers every day no yeah but it was every day at the school was he a facial would send free me money um no so okay so when you're practicing it's free um in your first couple days of class it's free uh, you do have to bring a model but once you are in lux Nobody knows this, but it's a Lux class. Um, then you can, you charge, and you can bring your own like client. You bring your own clients. Oh, okay, yeah, and that's how I started my clientele through that. Mm. And he would send you money every day. How much? Um, because I feel like you fumbled the bag here. I probably did. Uh, maybe like it would be like sixty dollars, thirty sixty dollars a day. Go get coffee. Go get food. Go get lunch. Where do you think you're getting coffee at? <laughs> I know, right? He's like, fill up your tank. Go get some coffee. No, you know he would tell me? He would be like, because um, I told him, oh, I hate putting gas in my car, going to the gas station. He's like, wake me up in the morning, and I'll go put gas in your car. Oh, my God. I fumbled, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You could have kept them in the back pocket at For least. Real. <laughs> I was pretty mean to him. Uh, yeah. Was he cute? No. Uh, that's, that's what it was. But I feel like I don't really go for looks, to be honest. Oh, okay. I just felt like it was probably too much during a time that I was still healing. Oh, oh he, he love-bombed you. Type. He love-bombed me. That's that's the word, love-bombed. You should have taken it easy. Yeah, I feel like if you uh, gradually... Like, Flowers. send me, like, a hundred bucks, like, every two weeks. Yeah? You know? Not every day. Like, I'm rich right now in my cash app. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got all your <laughs> money. <laughs> I got all your money. Yeah. It's just like, it just, it you was probably just did lot. too much too soon. That's what it felt like. Mm. I felt like if it was just gradually, you know, then maybe I would have given him, like, Damn. hey, let's go on a date. These dudes build different, man. I wouldn't even buy a girl a drink. <laughs> I know there's a lot of guys that are not like that. They're yeah. like that, actually. So, I don't know. I Does feel he like still, I, like, follow you or anything like that? No, I blocked him. Uh, I blocked him off everything. It's all right. Yeah. He's going to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> she got a new cash app. It's at Jonah. <laughs> got a new number. I'll make sure she, she gets that. <laughs> no, he was really sweet, but I just, it just, uh, no, it's not gonna. If it's not, he's not the one, he's not the one. Fuck yeah, it. I just, yeah, he's not the one. The next guy, fuck it. I don't know when it will be, but when he comes, he'll come. He's gonna get a facial from you and. You gotta be careful though. Are you gonna do waxing too? I do waxing. Have you done guys? I've done a guy. Guys? Guy. Like. Yeah. No. Not oh, that okay. Area. That's I don't what I was do asking. that area. No, no, no. Like, not even for women? For women, yes. Oh, okay. Just not men. Oh, okay. No. And I did it out of respect for my guy at the time when I was oh. with him. 
because he's like yeah i'm pretty sure he wouldn't know he would feel so uncomfortable and what guy wouldn't (laughs) you know but that's my you know my business i do like waxing and stuff but yeah i don't Mm. do male brazilian ah i I had a guest come on she does that oh she said that she like was doing it and she turned around to like grab a strip and she turned back around he was like playing with himself and she was like, what the fuck? Like, ran out. Like, oh, obviously, right? Like, that's, yeah, that's just awkward. I can, like, you should go to jail for that. <laughs> yeah. That's just weird. That's crazy. Yeah. That's why I don't even have it listed there. I'll do back, chest, legs, uh, arms. That's it. I don't uh, even put Brazilian for men. Oh, that's good. On my list. Then, that guy's like, then they're going to be, like, lining up. <laughs> oh, let me get a Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> you get my booty hole. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> men and their booty holes <laughs> what? no no i'm just saying like no <laughs> men and their booty holes no oh <laughs> like yeah don't, i would that's not a hard hard i would no. hard no hard i would no, not no. wax but no. women yeah women yeah oh <laughs> easy it's easy women are easy just, you know this is the, it's not so much hair flat. boom so sometimes <laughs> I haven't had a girl that has that super hairy. I thought they have to like grow, like even you their have legs. To have, yeah, like, it has to be like a rice, uh, as yeah, like a rice. Oh, that's not too long. It's not too long. Nah. Oh, okay. Then you can come and get waxed. Get that she weeks. Do you take the pictures like covering the? No, <laughs> I haven't done that. I should, but I don't. I'm like fucking borderline porn, dude. <laughs> Chill out, Instagram. <laughs> I know there's some girls that I I actually love watching it when they're doing like um, bajacials. Oh, where they put like that, like, um, the little gel. It looks like the boba. <laughs> the boba. A boba pussy mask. <laughs> the kitty mask. The kitty mask. No, <laughs> yeah, literally. I mean, I love watching it, but I just. Um, you don't do that, though? I don't do pictures. I do vajayshals. Oh, okay, okay. I do booty facials, vajayshals. What? What's a booty facial? Booty facial? Is it the it's same thing? Same thing, but on your butt. Like you massage the butt? Yeah. No, stop. Exfoliated. The mask. butt, but not the. Your butt, everything. Oh yeah. damn! Mm-hmm. Even like intimate uh, bleaching, I do all of that. How does that work? So bleaching. you just, so you just like there's like what I'm thinking. Tell me if I'm wrong. I've never looked this up or anything. You grab some bleach and water and push it on the no, brush. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's way more to that. It's just like an intimate bleaching where it just like I'm lines bo- up your skin. Yeah, it just lines <clears> up your <throat> skin. You know, there's like some dark areas and mm. women where the booty hole is always getting. Yeah, of course, or just like friction through your thighs. Like a lot of oh. women have, you know, dark areas. When you have a child, mm. it happens. Armpits. That's You're what we tell women not to shave because it creates you know the dark the darkness oh and here i was thinking only like strippers are getting like bleached because they no. gotta be popping that thing all women do it i didn't know that, that yeah. was up. and i think like a lot of women do it too for their husbands I, oh I mean, yeah, why yeah. wouldn't you They're like you can eat off this <laughs> <laughs> i cleaned your uh, let me clean my seat babe <laughs> real quick <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. yeah is there any guys that do this Mm-mm. is it allowed guys can do it Guys can do Brazilian. Yeah, Brazilian. They could do. Have you had? Have there been? Has there been a guy in any classes? I've had one guy in the class, but I'm, I was, imagine it must be hard to get customers though. For men, probably. Yeah, because it's like, hey, I, I do waxing. Yeah. They're like, honestly, yeah. I don't know. I know I never asked him, but hmm, I'm probably because it's you know just like, yeah, you want softer hands. Oh, and I was like just be comfortable and be comfortable like yeah i never even had a guy like massage me or anything like that uh, like you know when you're getting a body massage mm -hmm. i've never had a guy give me a body massage see there i think you would want that because they got stronger Mm -hmm. hands so you want like the deep dish tissue i see i don't like that oh okay you just want like like, you know soft and relaxing oh yeah but i've never had a guy that's interesting i I wouldn't choose a guy either that's what i'm saying you're like, fully naked so how would a guy be even be successful doing waxing he's like yo yo <laughs> come get your bazillions <laughs> ladies come get that kitty clean it's like <laughs> kitty clean llc <laughs> oh man. like what no yeah and you know the guy i think that the guy that was in class with us he was married it, another factor like mm-hmm. his wife is gonna be cool with like i would not she comes home some girls like spread ego and she's like hey honey <laughs> hey babe you want to see this <laughs> no. there's a pretty one look at this you know 
Like what? <laughs> she don't got the RB meat. <laughs> she got the meat. <laughs> I'm telling you. He's all look. <laughs> I'm telling you, Damn. I would not let my if I were to remarry again, he would not do that. Be, if, I mean, understandably, understandably, mm-hmm. even if it, like you know how how would you feel about a like a guy? Uh, what is it? Um, I know gynecologist. Gynecologist. I think he has been. Ta- yeah, my doctor was a um he was a male. Oh, okay. The dealer my child, but um Was that weird? Cuz I heard women prefer women? No, honestly. I feel like cuz he's seen so, so many, many pussies a day. He's tired <laughs> he's all, of them. Yeah, he's, he's like, like god damn. <laughs> comes home and his wife's like, "You ready?" He's like, "Oh, oh my come god. on, man." Yeah, and he's I've older. seen that all day. Yeah, they're older. Yeah. So mine he, I've had all three kids with him. He was same honestly, guy. Same doctor, same doctor, same guy, amazing doctor, Doctor Atiga. Shout out, shout out. <laughs> Hit him up. <laughs> Hit him up. If you want a good C-section line, all the cooters. <laughs> if you want a good C-section line, <clears throat> got you. Um, no, yeah, he was amazing. Um, uh, I I just preferred him because he was so experienced mm. and how he just like talked to me. What's like the best way to give birth and this and this and. After the first one, you're like, ah, I'd rather return. Yeah, yeah. I just went straight to him. I get, went to the same doctor's office, had all my kids in the same hospital. Oh, uh, so. Best experience. I will never change it. Five stars. Five stars. <laughs> plus tip. Yeah, plus tip. Yep. <laughs> Imagine if doctors start doing the little, like, I have some questions for you to answer. <laughs> oh my God. It's all 22%. <laughs> Shit, I'll be broke. Broke <laughs> from all my kids. How do you? Oh, okay, <laughs> when you get your business going, are you gonna have one of those and turn around? You're like, no. Please answer one of these questions. And Never. Like, I can't. Yeah. I mean, the whole I tipping was, thing is getting crazy. It is. I can't. I mean, Starbucks having you tip a lot now, right? Starbucks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't tip them. Before I never did. I don't. I'm like, this coffee's already <clears throat> expensive. And I found the loophole. So if you guys don't want to tip them, do the app. Oh, because if you use your card, they'll make you be like, oh, answer the question. So then you got to be embarrassed. You're like, no tip or you tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you do the app after you pay, it asks you after like, do you want to leave a tip? You just ignore it. Like, no, I never I don't have the app. I so, should have the app. Girl, How come many on. times I go? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't You're passing up all those points yeah. for free drinks. I know not only that, but the cups, right? You get like yeah, yeah. free cups. Mm-hmm. My friends like a freaking Starbucks point holder they expire so yeah you gotta do she, it fast she needs to get on it <laughs> yeah i know she's she's good with that yeah but i never did it i don't know why i should what's a what's a waxing cost let's say um, let's say i want to go and get my chest and back uh anywhere from i charge like 35 for chest just depend on hair you are because i can even go oh. like, yeah, i go like 25 if like i know you you know what i mean i'll be like 25 but what if it's like a lot? I say forty five because I do put numbing cream. You have to put numbing cream. I put numbing cream. Oh, just because guys are a little bit more. Are you calling us puss? <laughs> they are no because no what? no not puss. <laughs> more their skin's a little bit more sensitive. They're not used to like oh uh, like all that stuff. So. What about legs? Legs twenty five per leg. Yeah. So fifty. Fifty. Okay. Back. 35 35 if it's yeah. not if it's not if it's 45 yeah. mm-hmm. oh so it's like 90 bills 100 dollars, yeah. rounded up plus 20 dollar tip or something you know whatever yeah. yeah if you do full body yeah then i do a little discount if it's uh, full body if you're like okay full body then i'll give you like a really good does that take like an hour two hours it could take an hour or two just depending oh. on how much hair again and then how <laughs> how they're taking the pain because it's dudes are really soft like that um yeah <laughs> the i had a client i'm disappointed on my was fellows very right now. hairy um <clears throat> very hairy he handled everything good until his chest i think the chest area is a little bit more sensitive mm. yeah not the nipple <laughs> yeah no the back was super easy back arms underarms super easy non it's not aggressive chest area is pretty aggressive mm. yeah. i've had my back done it's and you know who did it? Her her best friend, my wife's best friend, Joe's wife. Oh, she does wax. No. Oh, she just did it. <laughs> I was telling her that I wanted to do it, and she's like, "Oh, I have a kit at home 
She's like, let me do it. She likes to see people suffer. <laughs> Something wrong with her. <laughs> and I was like, all right. You know, so she went and got in. Like, it hurt, but it didn't hurt too bad. It's like, not that your back area is yeah. not as bad. It, Chest is pretty bad. Is it? I'm going to have to try it out. Especially because guys have, like, longer hair on their chest. Because mm. the back is not that bad. Like, I feel like it's just, like, little hairs. But, um, well, the guy that I did, he had a lot of hair. Like a sweater? L- literally. <laughs> I have like I was like let me trim this a little bit. It was it's pretty painful. Some girls like that shit. Some girls like the hairy dudes and shit. I prefer a hairy dude. Yeah. Yeah. See, I wonder if it's like a Hispanic thing. Probably. Yeah, it reminds yeah. them of their dad or some <laughs> shit, some weird shit. <laughs> no, I, I honestly Let's talk about I just, that I just, trauma. I just like a man to be more manly than oh like like feminine you know like fucking oh, like get my brows waxed or got his lips done got, you know wears lip gloss shut the fuck up i should not wear <laughs> lip gloss bro i shouldn't even say that because i've seen dudes with like nail polish these days yeah so probably let's not talk about my man drake okay let him wear his nail polish he wears no he probably wears i see them with his drake nail. it looks, looks good like, on him yeah it looks good on him drake but looks like he him. has his lip gloss stuck to the phone so he doesn't lose it <laughs> If I were to see a guy in the street with his nails painted, I would not talk to him. But with Drake, I would talk to him. You know what? It don't bother me. Like, I don't be like, oh, you're a bitch. No. I just hate that they don't upkeep it. Just Like, get a fill, bro. Like, <laughs> your gel your, is not. It's Why are your out. nails chipping, bro? Like, you look like a 13-year-old girl. Like, yeah, I can't do guys with uh, nail least, polish. You know, keep it up. I can't do it. You can do it. Commit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, full on, yeah. yeah like, I can't. I, 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 find I, your nail lady and I go stand back on to business. Her. I do not talk to guys <clears throat> that wear nail polish. Mm. I don't have a thing against them, but I just, I wouldn't. Some dudes even get like their toes painted. Yeah. And that's cool. Well, like clear, like clear gel is fine, but I'm talking about no, yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. color. Yeah, yeah. No. Clear nail is fine. Like manicure does manicure. fine. Manicure. If you get a manicure, that's great. Yeah. Then I know your fingers are clean. Yeah. You know, you can feed if me not, tacos. You ain't fucking up my you, pH. You can feed me tacos <laughs> with your hands, <laughs> and I'll eat and, the wop that falls yeah. off. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah. But oh my god, no. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Like, and then they get like white. And I don't like the black. Black looks weird. Like, what are you goth? Like, <laughs> tonight will be the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like you know, recovering his face and shit bro i want to see like at least make it look nice God damn. hey we were in that era huh yeah with the little side the thing. side thing black oh all black God. with the fucking lace like arm thing i literally used to cut my hair like that no the side bang but like long. in middle school yes remember how like girls used to have like a longer piece and then shorter layers yeah i used to have my hair like that, that. was you that was me but i wasn't like <laughs> like a goth or anything i just that was like the hairstyle oh. i think because of the hills do you remember like the hills yeah the show laguna beach laguna beach laguna beach i used to watch those shows and be like that's not real life <laughs> like because you know we don't live in that area so Mm-mm. i didn't grow up around that kind of like demographic right so i was like this can't be real bro. like this is real <laughs> i know i used to love those There's no color there <laughs> like oh my god i want to wear uggs and a skirt <laughs> you probably did though i probably did yeah, i know yeah. i did yeah uggs I did. And, uh, and leggings and leggings the winter fit oh my god the style i can't now that i think <laughs> of my style that back then horrible horrible dude i saw this video and they're all like dudes in the early 2000s used to dress business casual at the club and i was like damn we really <laughs> did jeans and a button <laughs> with vests I fucking you remember like dudes would wear vests. ties oh my God. <laughs> now they wear yeah. just like t-shirts and vans yeah, i remember super nice i man. remember when clubs wouldn't let you in with vans like you, you had to wear shoes like dress shoes i remember like no jays clubs the guy well the promoters back then if you didn't have cute toes you can't come in facts so yeah. i'm glad i had cute toes cute heels I was always in there you had to have nice heels nice heels not flat how no. dare you right who are you <laughs> go to decos <laughs> go to below go to 18 and up <laughs> <laughs> literally oh my yeah God. like sneakers no Never. out of the picture it was now you can wear whatever you want mm-hmm. you can wear your pandas you can <laughs> A skirt. You wear your, your your chanclas. Literally, I see a lot of girls Dude. just like that now. <laughs> I had this girl, and I was downtown, and she was like, downtown. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm matching on. She's like, oh, me too. 
She's and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm with Chaos mm-hmm. at, the, at the DJ, and she's like, oh, can I go up? And I was like, yeah, let me go get you. And so I go down there, and she was in PJs. Te lo juro. What? The? Like, um, what is that? Col- no, not Coloroid. Um, like that velvet looking you oh, know, yeah, the shiny yeah, yeah. shit mm-hmm. she was wearing like pjs and i was like and like house slippers or something <laughs> and i was like Ugh. i cannot he said nah <laughs> hey, i cannot i was at the club mm-hmm. nah that's crazy it's because our i feel like our generation we're like we really care about we take care of ourselves how you dress when we go out we're gonna look good because that, that was like it's mandatory like, yeah it was mandatory now they wear whatever now they just let any they pff, <laughs> homeless looking go in the club <laughs> like they were um they're like oh let's go to 7-eleven you want to go to the club fuck it <laughs> we're already dressed like the club let's go <laughs> i cannot oh my god if right. i'm gonna go out i'm literally gonna change into like the best outfit i could come up with and yeah. be there want to look nice yeah you want to look nice yeah that's crazy. These days, even crazy. to dinners, like I want to dress super nice to go to dinners, yeah, and it's not even nice. for other people, but it's just like for yourself. Mm-hmm. But not no more. Girls don't care. They wear whatever. They wear whatever. Fucking workout clothes and shit. Gym clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you said uh. <laughs> not I. Not I said not the fly. I. <laughs> Hey, I want to compliment you on your TikToks. You do the voiceovers really good. Really? Yeah. Thank you. That's just, I was like, damn, dude, she's good. Because you know a lot of people buck it up. or I a, really try. <laughs> I really how many, try. How many rough drafts do you have? <laughs> you don't want to look. You don't want to look. Honestly, when we were in, uh, when it was during COVID, I think that's when I started. That's when everybody got on TikTok. Yeah, I got on TikTok. And me and my son started, my youngest son. He was really into TikTok and he got me into TikTok. <laughs> so it was a lot of videos with us that we were doing. And then um, I just noticed that my followers started growing and growing. And then I'm like, I'm just going to keep it up. But I feel like, yeah, I've gotten a lot better from the beginning. Because <laughs> before I'm like, oh, what the freak am I doing? I don't know what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, now you're good. And your shit's like you do all the trending like yeah i sounds. try to stick with the trending sounds yeah so it's pretty a cool. lot of drake sounds drake they don't allow oh, them anymore right because hmm? of the music thing i've noticed they've been taking down a lot of yeah. songs that shit sucks i know because a lot of mine have no songs now and i was like what the heck yeah but i think the, yeah they're taking a lot of the artists a lot of all drakes and shit all drakes really? that's your man did you go see him when he came i did how was it best concert of my Were you life close I was pretty close, yeah. Oh, who paid for those? You? I paid for them. Stop. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> it was that guy who was sending you money. <laughs> no. Well, See, that's why you should have kept his money. You should have <laughs> kept them for that. <laughs> no, I bought them myself. I actually had been saving for um his his concert. So I mean they were pretty expensive, but I got like what five hundred? It was like six hundred. God damn, girl, that's a lot. That's a lot in. of money. I know, but it was so worth it. It was oh. worth every penny. Did you go solo? I'm um, not. No, so went I friend. went with um, yeah, I went with a friend. That's cool. Yeah, it was really fun. I got pretty fucking fan girl. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was really thinking he was gonna walk by my um my lane my lane my area, but no, he he was across. Oh, uh, he had the love so letter all ready for him. I was too. so ready. I was. <laughs> he was gonna see you and be like, "Oh my god, yeah, we where were, have you been all my life?" Right. right? That's exactly. Come on, girl. Let's fly out of here. Let's go. You're the, my soulmate. <laughs> I, I knew as soon as I looked in your eyes. <laughs> I was just waiting. I was either I'm gonna pretend like I'm pregnant so he can kiss my belly, or I'm just gonna faint <laughs> on him. I was like ready, coming up with scenarios. <laughs> I didn't know what to do because he had he had kissed some girl's belly. She was pregnant his concert Aww. and i was like oh my god i don't know how so i feel cute. as a dad i'd be like yo what the fuck oh my god no no nah, so that's cute. crazy it's so cute i was like that's oh not- my god i was like i would die but um yeah i was so jealous he didn't come through my side how would you feel let's say your next mm-hmm. man or whatever and you have a baby would you have another baby? anyways mm-hmm. he's holding your baby and some fine ass girl comes by and gives the baby a kiss on the cheek You'd be is like, she like famous? No, yeah. I You'd mean, be okay with it? Yeah. Oh. Because I know she won't want my man. See, that's the thing. She won't see him. She'll see the baby. Oh. What if she's like, he looks just like his daddy. <laughs> Handsome. Bitch, we gonna fight. 
<laughs> no, I think I, was, I don't know. I have to be at that moment. Because I think, so there's that. Like, what are the odds of, like, Carol G being like, oh, ese gordito, that's mine. You know what I mean? That's never going to happen. But a rapper could be like, oh, yeah, she's cute. I'll take her for tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's true. I didn't think of it like that. Two ways. <laughs> I know. The person that I was with, because uh, I was like, oh, my God, you know, he's going to walk by here. He's going to walk by here. And he was just like, mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> like, come on, boy. Yeah. Drake's it's Drake. Gonna, Drake's not going to even see me. <laughs> Chill. Or maybe. Like, or maybe. Yeah. You never know. What if he's looking type. for a natural yeah? big booty Latina? Uh, <laughs> Drake, here. Aquí estoy. Uh, <laughs> you don't need those fake women. <laughs> You could do better, my love. You could do better. <laughs> Did you see that video? That girl that went up on stage with the singer. Which one? You didn't see that? No. So this guy and this a couple, uh-huh. they went to a concert. This was like in London or somewhere in Europe. Wait, who was the artist? Some guy named Omale or some shit. Omale. I never heard of him. Oh. But the girl was apparently that was like her, her favorite artist. Mm-hmm. And he called her up, and she went up there and started dancing on him. <gasps> Like twerking with her man there, with her man there, oh, and then they went behind his curtain, and they were like dancing, but like, like you know, <gasps> bumping and grinding. Right. Was her man was watching the whole thing, and he didn't go up there. No. What? And then she was like, afterwards, she's like, "Was it that bad?" And everybody's like, "Bitch, what? <laughs> you almost fucked this dude on stage, oh, like in front of your man." God. See, I wouldn't do that oh, if I see. was married. Oh, only if you're married. Yeah. If I'm married, in a relationship, it really depends. Like two years in. I feel like if I, it's a serious relationship, okay, yeah, I wouldn't. But if it's like two months, <laughs> a month, three months. <laughs> no one's safe, fellas. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm sorry. Three months, Just you'd be like, fuck it. Three months, I'd be like, all right, three, three months is max. Because I feel like you guys already kind of know your I likes and you know it could be something it could be something but if drake is taking me come on babe sugar daddy right here i got it i got this i'll buy you your lambo (laughs) three months i got you for one night for one night yeah i'm gonna get knocked up (laughs) we're gonna get the child he's not gonna put no hot sauce in his condom (laughs) don't trip (laughs) i hate you women (laughs) No, this I, is why so many <laughs> podcasts are like women should belong in the kitchen. <laughs> no, but I wouldn't do it if I was married or in a long term relationship. But if it's early, early, you're going yeah, I'm going up. I'm sorry, boo. I'm sorry, boo. Yeah, yeah. it was We're, fun. You don't, I don't have a ring on this finger. You either stick around or you don't. I don't care. Yeah, I'm much. going up there. I feel like guys too. If um, guys yeah, had probably. the opportunity, three months, two months, if they had the opportunity to go with the hottest girl in town, they would. Not even an artist. Not even just an like artist. Just some The girl batting. from Starbucks. <laughs> the big titty bitch. <laughs> the big titty bitch at Starbucks. <laughs> Literally. Dudes. Bye, girl. And they're not even like, if I was married, no, they'd be like, married or not? Like, married doing shit. This. I know. She ain't never going to find out. <laughs> well, she don't know won't hurt. I'm just, yeah. Guys are like that. Dudes be yeah. like that, huh? They really be like that. No, guys are hella petty. Yeah. I, let me tell you a story. So, uh, I'm not going to say no names, but there's this guy uh, that messaged this girl on Snapchat. You know this girl? I don't know this girl, but I know her man. Oh. Okay. But the other man, I know that man too. So, you know both men. So, I know both men. You don't know her. I don't know her. Okay. So, um, this guy messaged the girl, right? And the guy that she's with. Uh, when he messaged her, they were together. Oh, so he saw. So he saw, but he he's talking to her. This guy's talking to her. And, you know, he's uh, he sent her a little fire, whatever, whatever picture like she posted. Like a reply. Like a reply. And, you know, he saw, but he knows <laughs> who he's talking to. So he told that girl, like, hey, your man just hit my girl up. Oh, mm-hmm. damn. Hit my girl up on Snapchat. And the girl took a picture of the guy and her together and sent it to the guy. It was like, we're together. 
and you're going to get caught up right now. Because this guy told the guy's girlfriend. Okay, let me let me make <laughs> sense of this. It's because I can't So it's two names. couples. So it's two couples. So I mean, two guys in relationships. Two guys in relationships. One guy's messaging the other guy's girl. Mm-hmm. He saw, he's like, I'm going to tell your, your girl. I'm going to tell your girl. Yeah. Damn, it's messy out here. It's hella messy. Especially with Snapchat. But it was just a reply, right? Don't matter. Oh, that's okay. I feel like if you're in a relationship, you do not swipe up on no bitches' pictures. Oh, right. Period. <laughs> How would you feel if your girl swiped up on some guy's pic mm. and put fire or? Like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, yeah. I just feel like it's just the respect. That's true. I think it's like two months of dating. Okay, that's fine. Swipe yeah, up yeah. on whoever. But after the s- crazy part is a serious moment. that they know the partner. Yes. That's the disrespect. That's the disrespect. Yeah, because if it's like some random guy who doesn't know. The girl, yeah, doesn't know. Just like. Just whatever. The girl will never find out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, you know. That's what a coincidence. That's where you fucked up. That's where you got caught up. (laughs) Yeah. And now it's a fight. And now, yeah. Yeah. Now you're in trouble. Yeah. For for what? Yeah, for being a little. (laughs) For being thirsty. For being. (laughs) For being a fuck boy. boy. No, yeah. And that's why, I, honestly, I don't like Snapchat. I really mm. don't like Snapchat. It's so sneaky. Mm. Even they're making Instagram sneaky with that little vanish mode. Oh, shit. the vanish mode? Do you, sometimes I do it on accident. I'm like, no, 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 Me no, too. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Me too. I'd be like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I don't use Snapchat anymore, but I will um, I like to go and see, like, the you know, it saves, like, pictures. Old pictures. Yeah, yeah. I like to look at the, like, six years ago, you were skinnier. Yeah. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> Six years ago, you were in a relationship. Yeah, six years. You look. You were not happy. You were miserable. <laughs> you were crying. This day. You remember this night? <laughs> you were fucked up. <laughs> my favorite is I have a friend who hooked up with a friend of mine on my birthday night, and I took a picture of them on my couch, like before the thing happened, right? But I took, and it reminds me of <laughs> you. Hey, remember? And this? so every year I send it to her. <laughs> You remember this night? You and remember she's this like, night? that's how I know it's your birthday because you sent me this stupid picture. <laughs> that is the worst. Yeah, I don't like Snapchat. Snapchat. Keeping all the secrets. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I don't like Snapchat for that. Too. <laughs> all them old memories. All the memories are in Snapchat. Let me take a shot. <laughs> no, seriously. No. Uh, did yeah. you find out if he got in trouble then? He did. Oh, he did. I guess the girl broke up with him. <gasps> Over that? Yeah. That must have been like the breaking, the last straw. First, not only that, but I think it's a woman just demanding respect in a relationship. Uh, um, I mean, that's just like out of fucking. That's line. out of pocket. Yeah, yeah, out of pocket for sure. Like, okay, you're gonna okay. If I didn't know you were doing, who else are you sending messages? Mm, this like, is one this I is, found out like, about. You got caught up. Yeah, but what about the other bi- ten thousand bitches you got on Snapchat? How many are you swiping? How up? many up are you swiping up? Yeah, but how many of those what? are you talking to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That's How the many worst conversations part are you having? The, yeah. That you found out your man gives no play. <laughs> yeah. He's just left on scene. Oh my God. No, I can't. <laughs> no. It's just like disrespectful as fuck. How you feel about um, dudes following like those, like the model? I don't like half it. Half naked hoes. Honestly, shit. if a guy has more than like um, 600 followers, I don't Red flag. Them. Red flag automatically. Damn. You're like too the popular. Guy, like the guy that I was talking to. Um, he had a lot of followers because he's TikTok famous, so he oh, actually really? gets paid for it. Also, oh, so yeah, um, is that how you met him? No, oh, he okay. fixed my car. That's how I met him. <laughs> I didn't meet him at the club. Uh. Yay! Um, but I met him because um, he fixed my car. That's how I met him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he and you just car. found out. Oh, he's TikTok. Yeah, because he's like, oh, add me on Instagram and TikTok or whatever. I was like, okay, Snapchat, Facebook. We had each other on everything. Um, and then that's when I found I was like, oh shit, you're TikTok famous. What the heck? And it was over like a car video, which was awesome. crazy. Yeah, so he got pretty famous from that. Um, he gets paid for it, which is awesome. Um, but uh what was I what was my point? <laughs> he had a lot of followers. Oh yeah, he had a lot of followers, but he followed a lot of girls. Oh. So I told him, I know this is like weird but i was like i can't talk to you if you have you're following half of sd like all the females in sd i can't <laughs> all mutuals oh yeah. yeah like i know half of these girls are like 
a lot of my guy friends know these girls. I was like, you need to get down to 800. So he had to sit there and be like, I'm following. Unfollow. He did it. He did it? Ah, mm-hmm. damn. There you go. Yeah. So, so you were toxic in the beginning. I wasn't toxic, That's but toxic. I value oh. myself. 800 is a lot, though. Yeah, he had like 3,000. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, boy. Damn. I ain't gonna, I can't. You had to go re-add him after and be like, hey, yeah. she made me. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> he, the worst part is that he had to pick. he did. He picked. He picked. Yeah. He picked. So it's not like you In were like. In the beginning, he was doing it already. Like, I didn't ask him, but he was already, like, taking a lot of people. But I did tell him, like, um, I don't like that you're following all these girls. Just like how he didn't like me having all a bunch of guys. Yeah. Um, I'm like, hey, like, I'll delete them. I really don't care because I don't talk to them. They're literally having conversations <laughs> with themselves in my DM. So I'm fine with it. You know, unfollow. Yeah. But it's just like, it's a red flag mm. when a guy follows that many girls. And then those type of girls. And then those type of girls. Yeah. Like, am I really your type if you're looking at oh, see, that's, all these that's BBL girls? Yeah. Or, I don't know, sloppy girls. I don't know. What's a sloppy girl? <laughs> <laughs> just like showing their... Titty, too much. Too much. Uh, I don't know. That is crazy, though. Yeah, I mean, like, have something for the imagination, and these girls just really don't care. Mm-hmm. I mean, someone will make money off of it, so. Yeah, I mean, like only fan girls, yeah. like that's fine. But. but you don't want your man following that. Like, are you subscribing to these hoes? Um, are you putting money in their pockets? Because I need money too. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm giving you the goods, <laughs> not them. They not giving you nothing. They ain't giving you shit. Girl, yeah, that's true. Let me work on your OnlyFans, though. <laughs> no, but yeah, I just feel like it's just like out of respect. I think like it's just every girl. It's not just me. Even if the girls that are half naked get into a relationship, they wouldn't want their guy mm, doing that. That's true. You know, like you're gonna look at other girls' OnlyFans when your girl's doing OnlyFans. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Subscribe to mine. <laughs> Subscribe to mine, babe. Pay me. No, nah, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't like it. I honestly don't yeah. like it. I mean, two their own. Some girls don't care. Yeah, some girls don't care, but I do. Some is just like, it's just Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, two their own, really. Yeah. But that's cool because you put your foot down like, I don't like this. Yeah, because I, I know what I want. So I really don't want my man to be. Like, if other people look through his Instagram, they're going to be like, oh, he's following all these girls and that's your man. I don't like that. I don't like mm, that. The be, public perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. don't. I mean... People's opinion, I don't care, but it's just like people close to me, they're going to be like, oh, is he good for you? Is he taking you serious? Um, would he post you? Yeah, he would. Okay. All right. Yeah, he did. Imagine he doesn't post you and he follows like all the third cells. Yeah, he actually would, took initiative and posted us first. Oh. Yeah, I never posted him on my post, but I post him on, on story. my stories. Yeah, yeah. But he posted us. Mm. Which I really like. I was like, oh, okay, that's that's what's up. At least you know he's letting all the hoes know. Like, yes, this is mine. Yeah, he did that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's respectful. That's respectful. Yeah, but even though you, he had all those, be, even, <laughs> even though he was subscribed to like fifteen on, to OnlyFans. <laughs> you have my back. <laughs> <laughs> what if people were DMing him the picture? And he's like, "That's my cousin. Relax. <laughs> Chill. That's my. That's, that's my the cousin. Prima, relax." <laughs> That's so sad if he did that. <laughs> no. She yeah. paid me, you know I do. <laughs> she forced me. She's the one that put it on there. She, she hacked my phone. <laughs> the next day he put it in his private. I got hacked. <laughs> That's fucked up. Hey, guys used to be like that. Or still like that. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of guys out that don't post their girl. Mm. They don't. Not even their wives. That's crazy. Yeah. Not your wife? Not your wife. That is wild. Yeah. To not post your wife. To that's not crazy. post your wife. That's is ridiculous. Too much. Like your girl of two months, whatever. Whatever. She might not be around. Yeah, your wife. Your f- girlfriend of like two years or ten years. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that are like that. What do do you know? Girls who are not posted. Um, I mean, I know their wives that are not posted. Oh, okay. Because I have like guy friends that don't. I post just their imagine wife. like, what do you, what do they, how do they justify like not being posted? Probably because, like, business. Business page? Business page. Oh, come on, baby, you know. Come on, it's my business page. <laughs> you know? Well, she's probably doesn't Or the, I'm private. Yeah. I don't like to post. Yeah, I don't like to post. I'm just posting all business. 
don't worry, babe. Yeah, you can check my DM. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All like, you want me to just delete? I'll just delete Instagram. <laughs> That's it. I'll make a new one. I'll, I'll make post. a new one. I'll just make a new one. Me and you. <laughs> Together. <laughs> no, yeah, that shit's crazy. I just I Social can't. media is wild. It is. It really breaks up a lot of relationships. I feel like it should they should bring back top eight. Yeah. Like MySpace. Yeah, I love the MySpace. Bring honestly. it back. They should. Ruin friendships. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm three? Bitch. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you put that hole before me? <laughs> You know she fucked your man, right? <laughs> All the truth comes out. The truth comes out over oh, top eight. Shit, dude, that was my favorite. Yeah, I MySpace was. My a day. You can do your little back page music. We're fucking coding and shit back in the day. <laughs> I was fucking the coder of the. I yeah, used to yeah. do everybody's MySpace. I had people pay me to like do their page. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Well, not pay me. They'll be like, do my page, do my page. I remember some guys like, oh, you forty bucks, and I was like, what? <laughs> I, I got you. I got you want the stars falling down? Shoot that. <laughs> Shooting across? It was cash How? only, too. <laughs> what song you want? <laughs> Dude, I had like the worst love songs. That's what all On I On your page? Like. Yes. You were heartbroken? I was probably. But I had like the from your saddest high school, songs. From your high school romance. I'm not miss. <laughs> fuck him. Sorry. <laughs> no. He's in jail. Oh, fuck. I was going to say, like, is he still around care. for I the talk kids? all the shit I want about him. <laughs> No, no, no. He also, he's in. Uh, no, he's in jail. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah. Do your kids visit him? No, they're not allowed to. They're not allowed Mm-mm. by because of you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm like, I don't want them to go there. Oh, that's crazy. But they now they're actually allowing FaceTime. Oh, that's what's up. So they FaceTime. It makes get a little iPad or something. Yeah, they give him like an iPad so he FaceTimes them now. Mm. He never had any communi- communication with him back in the day. So oh, uh, so at all at this point. Mm-hmm. so i'm like oh they're older to make their decisions so when he's out you're gonna let him like meet or maybe change mm. his ways like found god i don't know if he's gonna get out oh fuck yeah <laughs> i mean i don't know i honestly really don't know oh you don't keep up with none of that i mean i the kids is that's it oh yeah he'll try to say hi and i'm just like oh but <laughs> no and at one point like take this time to really dedicate yourself to yeah. focusing on the don't kids worry about me. don't worry about me yeah. i'm doing good they're doing good just Damn. yeah crazy because at one point that was mm-hmm. that was boo thing that was that was your man's that your forever my my actual my actual first love in high school you thought that you're like we're different we're gonna last mm-hmm. <laughs> he's the love of my life, he's the love of my life. i'll leave my family <laughs> for him <laughs> I'm going to have this kid. I did. <laughs> I really was your mom did. mad? She was not mad. I think she was more disappointed. Oh, uh, that's what it is. Huh? Yeah, You're because like, like I had a lot of goals in high school. I really wanted to like go to New York and dance and everything. To be like a ballerina? Ballerina, dancer. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Jazz, tap, everything, hip hop. So. Ruined. It's okay. <laughs> My dreams are better now. <laughs> yeah yeah you're living the life you were supposed to live yeah exactly and i learned a lot from my kids too just like us growing up together pretty much yeah Mm -hmm. would you have been upset if your daughter got pregnant now she's having a kid was that the baby shower you yes no shit yeah i'm not upset honestly i'm not not disappointed nothing i'm not disappointed i feel like it's meant to be so Mm. she's doing good you know she's on a better path She's oh, okay. When's the baby due? Next month. <gasps> Damn. I know. And her birthday is next month. Her birthday is June. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. I know. You're gonna be, be a, a grandma. grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thirty-six year old grandma. Don't say grandma, okay? It's BB. <laughs> BB. That's what it is. What's the name of this episode? Grandma <laughs> Melly. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> BB Melly, I'll take BB. Did you sit down to dad like my guy? My guy. Yeah, he's a good kid. Bring your parents. We need to talk. Yeah. Well, because like it um you know, I'm mom and dad to my older kids, of course. Um so it's like I had to be both that moment, which was really hard because obviously I want to support my kids in any way. I don't want them to feel that I hate them or I'm mad at them because of a mistake, a mistake, you know, and it's also, it's a blessing 
I see it as a blessing. And I feel like when I had my daughter, it just made me become a better person and better version of myself and things that I didn't think I could ever go through um, alone. I was my daughter was by my side. So I feel like she's going to be able to experience that. Man, what a journey you're about to. Embark. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Did I you know. meet the parents and you guys were like, what no, What happened? Like, I didn't. I no? Didn't, no. I I met the mom one time and I haven't met the dad yet. Oh, he's not around. Mm-mm. Oh. Yeah. So but he's a really good kid. He t- loves my daughter. He takes care of her. That's cool. Yeah. That's I'm, good. That's really, really all you can ask for. I'm happy for them. It. Yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. I can ask for. And then for them to keep, you know, pursuing their dreams. You know, just because they have a kid doesn't mean they have to stop. Mm, know? That's where, like, your your lessons that you learn. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for yeah. sure. Especially because, like, when I was I was a young mom, uh, I felt like I was very limited because I didn't have nobody helping me. So she has my help. Mm. I'm Y'all like faja time, baby. Oh, sh- <laughs> that's exactly Cocoa what I'm butter. I got her faja, her bag ready with everything that she needs yeah. <laughs> you're like you're gonna snatch back you're gonna get snatched girl <laughs> everything you can get back you can jump back yeah that's crazy you're 36 you're about to be a grandma i know <laughs> Damn, yo i know that's I know. wild don't remind me i know <laughs> don't call me grandma La bb abuelita meli <laughs> bb meli i'm gonna photoshop your face on the abuelita <laughs> chocolate thing <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> That's going to be your Christmas present. <laughs> love, Jonah. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, I love it. I love it. That is crazy. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be a grandma. That's scary, too. It is scary. Cause I'm going to I'm gonna start all over. Position, yeah. I'm going to be a mom again, yeah. for sure. You're going to be like, ah, esta niña. Yeah. Querías, bebe. I know. Yeah. Yeah. The good thing is, like, she she's going to have a lot of support. She has me, um, my mom, my your mom's my a great grandma. grandma. She, and my great, my grandma. Is your grandma still with us? Yeah. That's what's up. And she's going to be a great, great grandma. <laughs> yeah. Four generations. They're both like, yo. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. We're not supposed to meet our great grandmothers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed that she's going to be able to see. You got to get a picture of like. Oh, we do. We have one. No, when she has the baby. Oh, yeah. Of all of us. Like yeah. all of it. Is she having a boy or girl? She's having a boy. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. His name's Santino. Santino. Mm-hmm. All right. That's a cool name. I love it. Santino. She pick it? Yeah. We did. We did. Oh, we? <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> a lot of we in this. <laughs> what are we, French? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I, we were like debating what his Are you going to be in the be. room? Yeah. Mm, mm-hmm. Of course, like Mexican moms for sure. Oh, yeah. I want her to deliver naturally so she doesn't have to endure all the pain that I did at such a young age. It's actually really bad for you, but. The pain or the C-section? Well, yeah, C-section because with the years, I have a lot of back pain. Because I oh, have to no get like shit. epidural. Had to, oh. Yeah, so I get a lot of back pain during Damn. the cold. That sucks. It really sucks. Especially Damn. three kids, so. <laughs> Fucking kids. Y'all motherfuckers hurt. Fuck them kids. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The good thing is they're like already like like older age. Yeah. Or like your daughter and your the first two can take care of the third. Oh yeah. And be oh, like, yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. Going to the gym. Yeah. You know? I'm going to Miami for a week. I'll be back. <laughs> I actually am. <laughs> Gonna go see Bad Bunny. Overall? Oh, yeah, in May. Oh shit. hmm Solo? I'm gonna go with my really good friend. Ah, yeah, she's up. gonna come with me. Oh yeah, I'm about to. I was about to hoe it out, but live it up. up. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go find sugar daddies. No, <laughs> no we're gonna. We really. It's her birthday, so um, we want to go to cute little restaurants and the Versace restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what's up. Mm-hmm. La abuelita <laughs> out in Vegas. I mean Miami. <laughs> Watch out. You're going to have like a picture of, of your grandchild on, on your phone. phone. And they'll be like, is that your baby? And they'll be like, no. It's my grandchild. <laughs> what you mean? Like, what? <laughs> no, that don't make, it don't work that way. I know. Can't believe that. Damn. I know. Yeah, it's, that's insane. I'm looking at a grandma who's younger than me. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Melly. <laughs> I'm blessing you today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. I 
Um, what's your Instagram so they can follow you? I ain't gonna keep you too long. It's a school night. Yeah, we, uh, we got school in the morning. It's uh, underscore kids. underscore Mama Melly. Mama Melly. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think I'll tag her right here. Right yeah, here. and then um, my you have beauty a business page. page? Yeah. yeah, it's uh, Lotus Beauty by Lila. Lotus Beauty by Lila. Who's Lila? I am. Is that your middle name? Yeah, it's my little nickname for my family. Oh, Lila. Lila. Oh, I like that. Grandma Lila. Grandma Lila. Mm-hmm. Not- <laughs> <laughs> what is grandma in spanish abuelita or not abuelita. abuelita but like don't they have another name nanita nanita lila mm-hmm. no but i like abuelita nina i like lila. bb why bb because it doesn't sound old i mean you're not old so because my mom already took the coolest one like my um my nephews and my son they call her mamacita oh so so yeah and then my grandma is abue we don't call her grandma abue Abue. Abue. And then my other grandma was Nanita. Mm. So I have to change it up. I can't. That's crazy, dude. It's going to be BB. My sister had a baby after her divorce. Mm-hmm. And the baby, she's three. Mm. So, like, my grandma, my grandma, my mother <laughs> was a grandma already because my niece is 25. Wow, 25. Yeah. So she heard, you know, like, she saw that one and now she has to like redo it and but like older and it's funny because my older niece calls my mom ma and then my the younger the baby or the three-year-old calls her grandma oh so it's it's interesting because it's like damn dude the the time difference i know and you're over here like all clumped that's why i'm like i have to change it up it has to be bb dude if we can get your grandchild to have a baby at 18 you can be a great grandmother <laughs> By the time you're like happen. 55. <laughs> it's not going to happen. We're rooting for Santino. <laughs> Santino, no. Stop the curse. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate you coming through. Yeah. Cool catching up with you. I know. Thank you so much for having me. We really got out of the inbox. It. Yo, let's make this happen. I know. I'm glad we did. I was so shy. Um, Follow her. You know, go get your facials and your waxing. Yes. Not the balls, guys. Come on. <laughs> no balls no all my balls. stripper friends go follow her get yes. that booty hole wax and bleached yes girl <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you again thank you till next time peace yeah 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 you looking for me you can find me at the spot chopping it up with jonah we talking about what's hot on the block up in dago man we bumping uh, keeping it confidential you know this how we coming we your friend uh, Looking for that real, better tune in and stick by Put on for the city every time that I dip by uh, Get into that greedy every time that we sit down Promise you it's real every time that I get round Come on, <laughs> been in the field playing we-